Hey guys, I took my wife over here to Ingalls Grocery Store and she has went inside to pick up a few things for my mother-in-law because today is her birthday and uh, she wanted me to sit in the car because we have some packages in here for her and we didn't want it to get uh, stolen, I guess. is Well, that's what it is, stolen. So I didn't want to go in anyway. I very seldom go in a store. Anyway, so anyway, I'm just sitting here waiting for her to come out. My wife is, my wife's mother has turned 91 today. So she is home and doesn't care to get out. So we're going to pick up a few groceries for her and, uh, you know, get a few items. And my wife has called our neighbor. She's an older lady too. And Asked her if she needed anything, which she did. So we're going to get a few things for her as well. So trying to do a good deed for today. But uh, there's a lot of businesses, small businesses, I'll say, in this town that are closed. Because, you know, restaurants and stuff because, uh, you know, nobody's going to them. So uh, especially buffet bars like uh, Western Sizzling. We have a Western Sizzling here. And I heard that they're closed indefinitely. They have a really nice buffet bar. I really enjoy eating there. But I guess we'll be going there for a while. And, uh, of course, we got Ingalls Grocery Store, Save-A-Lot, uh, IGA, uh, of course, Walmart. And, uh, let's see, Food City. Anyway, that's some of our bigger grocery stores, IGA, yeah, uh, Anyway, it's not a really, really big town that we live in, but it's big enough to have a Walmart and stuff. But as I said, I really feel sorry for some of the small business owners at this point. But my wife and I hadn't been getting out a whole lot because of the weather. It rains every day. I mean, oh my goodness, going to the junkyard or like today was a little flea market on Wednesday mornings, but... You know, it was raining, so ain't no need. I just, time you drive all that way, chances are there's nobody there anyway. So I just thought we'd just forget that, calling for more rain this afternoon. This We get a lot of rain here, like every day. It's depressing. I think a little sunshine would put everybody in a better mood and maybe get rid of some of this stuff floating around and kill it too. Anyway. I'll get back with you in a little bit. We'll look at the traffic situation once I get going here and see if the traffic's died down any. But we've asked several people if they need anything. So far, no. Okay, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Hang on. Okay, guys, my wife come in from Ingalls Grocery Store. She said there's no meat in there. And of course, I know y'all's tired of hearing this. I'm, I am. There's no toilet paper. So we have come to Family Dollar to see if they might have some toilet paper uh, for our neighbor who said she needs some if we was to see some. So here we are. And anyway, I'm trying to look. This is normally a pretty busy road. We'll see how many cars are on it today. This is a four lane road with a middle lane for turning. So, as I said, my wife and I hadn't been out in a few days because it rains every day. I just don't see no point, really. And we don't need anything from the store. So, no need in getting out. Well, there's some, there's some traffic. And here comes my wife. I don't guess they've got any toilet paper, so hang on. Okay. Okay, we're going through town. Dairy Queen. Not many people there. Let's see if there's anybody at this Taco Bell. And it's lunchtime and there's nobody there except drive through Domino's Pizza. Nobody there. Did you want to go to? Yeah, I'll run in there. Okay. Nobody at the bank. Except one car. Credit union. Well, 
couple of cars. Didn't have any toilet paper at Family Dollar, so I guess we'll try IGA real quick. Try to help our neighbor out. I'll let my wife run in there. Might as well get your... Uh, yes, I will. Yeah. I'll meet you on the other side. Over okay. there, okay? Grab my car down. Okay. Anyway, quite a few cars here for a Wednesday. Almost 12 o'clock, so... Okay. See what this car is going to do. Oh. zip around through here and park over here because I'm pretty sure my wife will be coming right back out if she's not standing out here already. We come to the IGA quite a bit just, just because there's some items that they carry that no one else seems to carry that my wife likes so I'll just wait right here turn on my flashers Quite a few people at store. I'm trying to stay away from Walmart, not because of sickness necessarily, but just because everybody you know is in there, and sooner or later you're going to wind up talking. Which I don't mind that. I shouldn't have said that, but it just, it's, Walmart's kind of hard to go in and zip back out. You know, if you're looking for just one item or maybe two, just zip in, zip out, it's kind of hard to do because you will see somebody that you know more than likely. And uh, the Walmart we have is so big, it takes a long time to get from one end to the other. So anyway, I'll pause this here and we'll see if there's any TP in the IGA. So hang on. I just seen something interesting that I thought I'd share with you before I forget it, but I see people going in and out of IGA here wearing rubber gloves, which is probably probably a good idea, I guess, even if you're just trying to keep the flu away because, uh, you know, you won't get the germs on your hands. I keep telling myself, and my wife does too, to keep our hands away from from our face and my wife <laughs> she told me a minute ago she said my face has never itched so much just because you know you uh say don't you know put your hands around your face you know scratch your nose or anything like that so we're just kind of being overly protected i guess i don't know i don't know this world's gone crazy hasn't it some of the people have too, I have to admit. But anyway, uh, my wife made a post on Facebook a day or two ago that got took down because she was talking about a gentleman that was 95 years old that uh, he doesn't have Facebook or anything like that and he didn't know that there was a shortage on uh, toilet paper so he was kind of freaking out and my wife was saying that you know there were uh, older people that don't have computers or don't understand how computers work or or smartphones which I don't understand smartphones myself so anyway uh, for some reason Facebook took that post down my wife wasn't saying anything derogatory or anything. She was just talking about how sad it is for elderly people. Aha, uh -huh, here she comes. 
not to be able to understand how to use a smartphone or computer. Hang on. Okay, we found the neighbor some toilet paper. How much was it? 74 cents. It was the cheapo kind, but it's toilet paper. That's good. That's real good. Now we'll stop and get your mama pizza that she asked for. Once again, today is her birthday.